Apply a tourniquet about 2 inches or 5 centimeters above the intended venipuncture site to accurately identify and prioritize the veins for use in order to minimize potential for injury and complications. Make sure you can palpate an arterial pulse distal to the tourniquet to prevent circulatory impairment. To prevent pseudohyperkalemia, don't ask the patient to tightly clench or repetitively open and close the fist. Limit tourniquet application time to less than one minute to prevent hemoconcentration of the specimen. If a tourniquet has been in place for longer than one minute before accessing the vein, release it and reapply it after two minutes before performing the venipuncture. Immobilize the vein by pressing one inch to two inches below the venipuncture site with your thumb and drawing the skin taut. Position the needle holder or syringe with the needle bevel up and the shaft parallel to the path of the vein and at a 30 degree angle to the arm. If you are using a wing collection device attached to a needle holder, grasp the wings and position the bevel up. Insert the needle into the vein. If you're using a syringe venous blood will appear in the hub. Withdraw the blood slowly pulling the plunger of the syringe gently to create steady suction until you obtain the required sample. Pulling the plunger too forcibly may collapse the vein. If you're using a needle holder and an evacuated tube, grasp the holder securely to stabilize it in the vein and push down on the collection tube until the needle punctures the rubber stopper. Blood will flow into the tube automatically. When the first tube fills to its correct volume and blood flow ceases, remove the tube from the holder. Continue to fill the required tubes using the correct order of draw, removing one and inserting another. Gently invert each tube and then return it to an upright position as you remove it to help mix the additive with the sample. Doing so counts as one complete inversion for each tube. After you've drawn the samples, place a gauze pad over the puncture site and slowly and gently remove the needle from the vein. When you're using an evacuated tube, remove it from the needle holder to release the vacuum before withdrawing the needle from the vein. Activate the needle protector safety device if necessary.